The Great Bible The Hallowing of the Sabbath Day The Four Floods of Paradise The Setting in of Man in Paradise The Tree of Knowledge is Forbidden Him How Adam Named All Creatures The Creation of Ava The Institution of Marriage the second chapter. The heavens also and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And in the seventh day God ended his work which he had made. In the seventh day also he rested from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day, and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work, which God ordained to make. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created, in the day when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens and every plant of the field, before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field, before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, neither was there a man to till the ground, and there went up a mist from of the earth, and watered the whole face of the ground. The Lord God also shope man, even dust from of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And Adam was made a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward from Eden, and there he put man whom he had made. Moreover, out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that was pleasant to the sight and commodious for meat, the tree of life also, and the tree of knowledge of good and of evil was in the midst of the garden. And out of Eden there went forth a river to water the garden, and from thence it was divided, and became into four heads. The name of one is Pison. The same is it that compasseth the whole land of, of Hephla, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. There is also Bedellium and the onyx stone. The name of the second river is Gihon. The same is it that compasseth the whole land of Ethiopia. The name of the third river is Hidakal and it goeth toward the east side of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. The Lord God also took Adam and put him into the garden of Eden, that he might dress and keep it. And the Lord God commanded Adam, saying, Eating thou shalt eat, of every tree of the garden. But as touching the tree of knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. Else, in what day soever thou eatest thereof, thou shalt die the death. And again the Lord God said, It is not good that Adam should be alone. I will make him an help, which may be present with him. And so out of the ground Shope 
the Lord God every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought it unto man that he might see how he would call it. For likewise as man himself named every living thing, even so was the name thereof. Man himself therefore named the names unto all cattle and fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. And for man found he not an help that might be present with him. The Lord God also caused a slumber to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, made he a woman, and brought her unto man. And man said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. For this cause shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall be joined with his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. <laughs>